Hi everyone, Kiss here, and we are going to be reviewing the state of Doom, and I mean classic Doom on Mac OS. So this is going to be another coverage crossover tutorial. It's going to cover what I call classic Doom, and that is Doom One, Doom Two, Doom Three, and another little part for the special edition of Doom Three or Doom Three BFG edition. Um, I consider this classic because it's somewhat of a different era of Doom and the games compared to the modern Doom game, which is Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. And there was a you know a, a time of some years before Doom 2016 came out. So, and it's also a what you call a reboot with Doom 2016, which. For a time it seemed to be Doom 4, but you know it's not a complete new boot of the horror Doom franchise. Not that Doom had much of a story to begin with, but the first two anyway. Um, it tried somewhat to have a story where you can you know, listen to various recordings in Doom 3, similar to in the System Shock or Bioshock games, where you can listen to logs. And yes, System Shock is old school, but it also had a rating. And I have a rating for it on another video. Here, which I'll have a link to in the description. In the meantime, we're going to talk about the state of Doom on Mac OS. And first, I'm going to show how to install, which is fairly easy actually. Um, so, we're going to start with that how to install it. And then we're going to get to the ratings. So, let's get ready, let's get sites. Installing this is very easy. You just have to get the download GOG.com installer for a coverage crossover and use that to install. It's a single file for the first two Doom games, and there's two files for either the BFG edition or the regular Doom 3. So I'm going to go with that and select the downloader or installer file that you downloaded and will set up the download, or rather the installation. Because I, I think, if you have to remember, downloading and installing is for Steam. And yes, the Steam versions work just as well as the GOG.com versions. There it is. So, the installation process for Steam is very straightforward. So we're going to go forward with the GOG.com installer. It's very easy. You don't have to really add anything extra. Now, here's the thing. You can try installing the BFG edition of Doom 3, but it does not work. I'm already going to let you know, and I'll let you know again in the rating section that this does not work at this time. Not even the Steam version of BFG edition. So, you know, if, there, if it changes, I'll let you know. Um, I'm going to be mostly just doing gameplay secrets for, for a time. As a focus, it's a little easier to edit, and my time is limited. So, But we're going to get back to doing the installation, and I'm going to have some recommendations here. So, Here's a couple of other places. There. This is the website for Curly Crossover. Check it out, join the forums. You know, I started as a coder crossover user like you about a decade ago. So, and, you know, I just wanted to play some Windows on the Mac OS, which I was using a Mac computer that I inherited from my family. And that Apple MacBook that I inherited from my family did that function with older games that were Windows. but. You know, it was a good deal because when you're a poor college student, it's, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with using an inexpensive or even inherited computer for that. So, work through it. And after I spent some time, I eventually started going to the forums. So I was wondering, okay, this, this software doesn't work that well. And then I realized that there were some ways to tinker with the program because the installation was flawed. So I did that back in the day with Final Fantasy VIII. So to get that working. 
And then I proceeded to figure out how to do it for a while. And after a while, I realized, wow, um, maybe other people might want to know how to get that work. So I decided to eventually start posting on the forums. And here's what I'm going to say right here. I'm going to invite you to go post on the Coders Crossover forums, or at least read, read and look up what issues you might be having with your specific app. If there's an issue with your app, that maybe myself or other users like you on Coders Crossover can find or have submitted ways that solve the problems and get the games or other applications running well. So that's what I'm going to say here. And that's my invitation. Go join the Coders Crossover forum to check them out if you're having issues with running an app using Coders Crossover. These forums help. They're a great source of information, all submitted and reviewed by those at Coders and by users like you. Done our installations, we're going to go through and review each of these Doom games. So, Ultimate Doom, 5 out of 5. Works just great. Sweet as a chestnut, perfect. Simple install, you don't really have to tinker with the installation, it all works. Just great. And if the same installation method works for the Doom and Doom 2. Now, the enhanced editions, and I'm going to warn you right here, the enhanced editions for Doom and Doom 2, they do not work. But the classic Doom on GOG.com, they work. And the Steam versions of these games work just fine as well. Now, Doom 3 works great. Now, the problem with Doom 3, and this is not going to be a 5 out of 5, it's going to be a 4 out of 5, but the higher resolutions beyond 720, cause problems with the game being a window within your screen. Um, so, if you want full screen experience so far, the only really works with work 720p or below. So, that's an unfortunate drawback, but you can still play the game. It just might not be great if you're trying to run a Doom 3 live stream on Cobra Crossover. So, that's the unfortunate thing. So, Doom 3, and Resurrection of Evil, they both work great on Steam within Coders Crossover. And I have an installation video for how you install Steam, and they both work great in the GOG or GOG.com installation. Great for both of them. Now the part where Doom does not function, despite the 4 out of 5 for Doom 3, is Doom 3 BFG Edition. Now the BFG Edition was the 2012 Enhanced re-release of Doom 3. The high resolution of the gameplay has changed so that you don't have to switch between your gun and flashlight in the dark. I didn't mind it too much, but it did have both the Doom 3 and the Resurrection of Evil expansion all in one pack. So it was interesting. But Doom 3 BFG Edition installs, but it does not run. Same is true for both GOG and for Steam. <laughs> Unfortunately. But overall, your experience with classic Doom games is 3 out of 4 of those games, excluding the MG edition of Doom 3, work. They work smooth. And Doom 3 works fine, so long as you don't have it beyond a certain resolution. So, my ending comments here is that the classic Doom games before 2016 they work great on Cobra Crossover. They work great on Mac OS using Crossover. And I hope to keep it hot, keep in touch, and be doing more productions here. I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on my tutorials episodes with video editing again. I've done a number of video editing episodes, and I'm also going to be doing a little bit of game secrets to diversify my content a little bit. So. Thank you for stopping by, and be safe out there, and I'm going to be signing off.
Hello there. Now this is a way you can support my channel here. So first way is my store. This is the Streamlabs store. You can go buy some merchandise, support the channel, some little wacky merchandise with logos on it. Coming up next is my Teespring store, which I will feature products from the store on my video, other content from time to time. Similar. Very similar cool sticky merchandise you can get with logos on it. A nice hoodie right here with the winter season going on. And here's my Patreon. You can subscribe for exclusive access, early access, and the honor of being a member who offer support to my channel and the ongoing operations and creations especially and the other one here i also have a rumble which i have other videos for because with youtube you want to have a subject focus so there's other content of other subjects and this should be it so in the meantime i want to thank you as my audience for stopping by to watch this video thank you for all your support in the meantime be safe out there and i'll be signing off Hi everyone, Kirsten over here, and this is the ending of the video presentation on Chaos Tutorials, and here's the deal. If you want to see more of my uh, tutorials on getting your old games to work on Mac, and you want to see more tutorials on how to do various other tasks, such as very cheap ways to make YouTube videos that still look decent, and much, much more, um, feel free to subscribe and if you want to be among the first to get each video hit the notifications and Please if you enjoy liking this your vote still counts. So please click the like With a big thumbs up. All right, you have a wonderful day and I'll be signing off